Minister for Indigenous Australians Linda Burney has outlined four key priorities for the voice advisory body, health, education, jobs and housing. For more on this, I'm joined live by Fred Pascoe, Indigenous leader and chair of the Gulf Regional Economic Aboriginal Trust. Good morning to you. Now, first of all, the government will ask the voice to consider four main priority areas, health, education, jobs and housing. Are you happy with what's been outlined? Basically, yeah. Look, those, those areas are very important. Um, but I am disappointed that the government has not identified economic development because economic development underpins all of those areas. It underpins uh, health. It underpins education. Uh, um, economic development gives uh, a person a purpose. So if a kid goes away and gets educated and they come back to the same environment that they're in, just as one example, um, and there's no jobs, there's no pathways into um, going down that commercial road so that person can, he or she can earn a living uh, to support their family going forward. We haven't really resolved anything. We've given that kid uh, very good tools as far as education uh, goes, but what's that kid going to use that education for? Housing. Uh, again, we, we can, we've seen numerous governments throw money at housing and don't get me wrong it's very much needed overcrowding is rife uh, particularly in indigenous communities a lady from the Torres Strait once said to me the problem with housing the housing issue is that we've got to turn those housing houses into homes and until people start to acknowledge and treat their houses as homes we will always have uh, high maintenance you know repair bills um we need to go to the next step and economic development allows that to happen. It allows people to have the means uh, to be able to either purchase their houses or turn that house into a, a home, uh, which is where we need to go. Jobs, it's a no brainer, employment. Um, without, without small business in this country, um, you basically don't have employment. So it's um, a no brainer. Economic development underpins all of those four key areas that, that Linda Burney has outlined. And we have actually uh, yesterday sent her a document saying why the government needs to focus on indigenous uh, on indigenous economic development. We need to participate in the economy around us. Fred, you, you've long been talking about the importance of economic development, but previously you also said more needs to be done at a grassroots level. Uh, has that changed? Do you think has more been done in that space? There's a, there's a trickle start to happen. You know, a lot more needs to be done. Um, you know, the, the, the people are saying the, the good, good tip is that we're going to go in October with the referendum. So certainly we, uh, government cannot afford to take their, their foot off the pedal. Uh, they need to keep going out here. They need to get out here. They need to tell people they need to utilise things like social media. Um, you know, the, the, no, the no campaign has certainly got their uh, notice, uh, their messages out loud and clear. And uh, certainly the yes, yes campaign has not matched it up in my neck of the woods anyhow. Uh, so we, they need to do more.